Identify intercepts using algebra. The x-intercept of a graph is the point or points, sometimes there's more than one, where the graph crosses or makes an intersection with the x-axis. Remember, the x-axis is the horizontal axis. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis or the vertical axis. So both of those points, or however many points you have where you cross one axis or another, those are expressed as ordered pairs. So you have an x value and a y value. The x-intercepts can be found, here's, here's how you find them, by substituting 0 in for the y and then solve for x. So it's the opposite of the one that you're solving for. So if you're finding an x-intercept, you plug in 0 for the y part. And all points on the x-axis have a coordinate of 0, a y-coordinate of 0. That's why we stick in the 0 for the y. Okay, if you're trying to find the y-intercept, you put in 0 for the x. So the opposite of the one that you're trying to find. And all points that are on the y-axis have an x-part, or an x-coordinate, of 0. So all the y-intercepts will have an x-coordinate of 0. So that's another way for you to check. So let's take a look at an example here. Find the x and the y-intercepts for the following equation. And this one's written in function notation. So the first thing that we would want to do is change it to have just slope-intercept form. So it'll look like y equals 10x plus 5. And then to find the x-intercept, Remember, I'm going to let the y equal 0. So to do that, I'll have 0 equals 10x plus 5. And then I want to solve for the x. So first thing I want to do is move the 5 to the other side. It's being added, so I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. And then I have negative 5 equals 10x. Now I want the x by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And on the right, I have just an x because the 10s reduce. On the left, I can reduce that, divide 5 on the top and the bottom, or the numerator and the denominator. So negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. 10 divided by 5 is positive 2. So my x part is negative 1 half. My y part, we already said we were going to set it to 0, and we did. And so my ordered pair is going to be negative one-half comma zero. So that is my x-intercept. My y-intercept is going to be a little quicker just because of the way that this equation is written. So to find the y-intercept, remember I should let my x equal zero. So I'll plug in zero for my x, so I'll have y equals 10 times 0 plus 5. So my y equals 0 plus 5, which is 5. So remember, I already know my x part is 0, because that's what I started with and plugged in, and my y part is 5. So I can write an ordered pair, 0 for the x part, 5 for the y part. Now I want you to notice one other thing, which is going to save you a little bit of time. If you think of this in the y equals, I'm going to write it over here y equals mx plus b form. Remember, b, 0 comma b is our y-intercept. So if we think of our function in that manner, y equals 10x plus 5, it means that 5 is my b, so I can go straight from that to my ordered pair for my y-intercept. So it would be 0 comma 5 from this form. So you have two ways to find that if you have it solved for y.